Hi, my name is Hans Gerenemakers and in the following video I'm going to share with you how easy it is to configure different languages for your TIA Portal applications. This video right here is part of my online training course TIA Portal HMI Basics. If you like to learn more about this course and other courses, then check out the description below the video for more information and for links to the course. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please like and subscribe. Now let's get started. So here we have our refill HMI project, which consists both of a PLC refill application and an HMI refill application. The PLC refill application is right here and the HMI refill application is situated right here. Now we are going to configure different languages for the whole project. This means that these language changes will affect the project as a whole and not each individual application. So where in TIA portal do we configure the different languages for our project? We are going to define languages for our refill HMI project. So we start by selecting the project like this and then we go to tools and project languages. So here under project languages, you can see a list of all the available languages in TIA portal. Currently only the English language is selected and both our PLC and our HMI application have been developed using this English language. Now let's select another language, a second language, and let's take for example, German. So we click here on the German language and now we have two languages selected for our project, English and German. Here at the top of the screen, you can see that you can make a selection for editing language and reference language. The editing language is the language that you use when you're editing your application. And the reference language is the language that you use when you're going to make translations afterwards. It will show you what the reference text looks like and that will be your orientation for a translation afterwards. So we have configured two languages now, English and German. And both of our applications have been developed in the English language. Now, how do we translate the English texts from our applications to our newly selected language, German? Let's start by having a look at our HMI application. This is, for example, our process overview screen. And here we have some texts on the screen in English. Valve, supply tank, process tank, etc. Now I'll show you an easy way to translate all of these screen texts to a different language. So we first start by selecting all of the items on the screen by pressing Ctrl A. Now we're going to go to properties and to texts. Now here on the left column, you can see our English language, which is our reference language at the moment. And in the right column, you can see our German language, which we just selected in the previous step. So just as an exercise, let's quickly translate these English texts to their German counterparts. So there we go. Those are the German translations for those English texts. Now we don't see the change straight away because we're still editing in the English language. So let's now change our editing language to German and go back to our overview screen. And now we can see that the texts on our screen right here are being displayed in the German language. As a second example, let's have a look at our HMI alarms. So I open the alarms right here and same procedure as before. I'm first going to select all the alarm text by pressing Ctrl A and afterwards we're going to look under properties and under text. And here you can see all the alarm text being displayed in English in the left column and in the right column we have our German language, which is empty at the moment. So here you can as well easily translate each single alarm to German. So this method of translating text is fairly easy and straightforward, but it has a disadvantage. 
In order to translate all the text of your application, you will have to open each screen separately, select the text and translate those. It's a bit of a long process for your whole application. So isn't there an easier way to translate all of your texts at once? Of course there is. If we go to Tools and we go to Project Texts, then we get an overview of all the text that is being used in our whole project and we can filter which text we display here using the device filter. So if we open the device filter here, you can see that at the moment we are displaying the text for the whole project, both the HMI refill application and the PLC refill application. Now for this example here, we would only like to display the text of our HMI application. So we deselect the PLC application and we accept. Furthermore, we can filter as well on the category. So some of these texts may not be so interesting for translating, like for example all these alarm texts right here. These alarm texts here are probably interesting because they will be displayed to the operator. Alarm class text may be not so interesting, HMI comments not either. And HMI screen texts, those texts will be visible to the operator, so it makes sense to translate these as well. Now when you are working with bigger applications, bigger projects, you are not going to translate all these texts yourself. Most of the time you obviously don't know all these different languages and what machine builders typically do is that they send these texts to translation agencies. They will then translate the text, send the text back and you can use those texts then in your application. So how does this work in TIA portal? How do we get the texts from our HMI application to the translation agency? Well this is achieved in TIA portal by exporting and importing your texts. To export project text in TIA portal, you first start by selecting the device and then you go to tools, export project text. In this example, we are only going to translate the alarm text and the HMI screen text. So we are going to deselect the other ones. Just like that. Here at the top our source language is configured as English, which is correct, and our target language will be the German language. So that's all set up correctly. Now here at the bottom we have our export file name, TIA project text, that's good, and our path where we want to save the text. Now we just need to click on export. We already have an existing file, so we want to override that, that's fine. And our export has been completed successfully. Now let's have a look at our exported Excel file. Now in the E column here in our Excel sheet, we have the English language, the reference language, and in the F column, we have the German language. So in the F column, we will need to insert all the translations for the different English texts. To save time, I've already made all these translations and I have a finished Excel sheet with the finished translations. Let's have a look at that. So you can see that in the F column, I have translated all of the English texts into the German language. Now let's go back to our application and let's import these translated texts. So we select our refill HMI device, we go to Tools and we select Import Project Text. Now we select the right text file, which is our translated text file and we import. There we go, our import of our German language text is completed. So now let's have a look here at our text. And here we can see, for example, that all of our alarm texts are translated now from English to German. Before we continue, let's close some of these screens right here and let's put our editing language back to English. So far we have covered how to configure your different languages in TIA portal, how to translate different texts on each screen of your HMI application, how to translate all your texts in one place, and we've had a look at how to export your texts, send them to a translation agency, and import your texts again. Now in this next step I'm going to show you how to add a language button to your screen so you can easily switch between the different languages of your application. Let's go. 
we're going to add this new language button to our setting screen right here. So I start by opening the setting screen. Let's put this nicely in the middle right here, just like that. So here on this setting screen, you can see that we already have some buttons configured under HMI functions. We have a calibrate button, a clean button, a log off button and an exit button. So underneath these existing buttons, we are going to create our brand new language button. So we do this by copying an existing button, like we take here, for example, the log off button. We select it, we press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, and we kind of place this button nicely underneath the existing buttons, like this. Now we're going to edit this group and we're going to adapt it for our language button. So we right click, press on group, edit group. First, let's start with the button itself. So we click on the button. Under properties general, we are going to change the graphic when the button is not pressed and the graphic when the button is pressed. So let's start by selecting a new graphic for when the button is not pressed. I've already added these language graphics to our project graphics, so I select the button language off. In the same manner, we're going to select a graphic for when the button is pressed. So here we select button language on. Now we go to events and under the release event, we are going to change the function assigned to it. So the function that we are going to add is the set language function. This function is set to toggle and that's correct. It means it's going to toggle the language whenever we press on the button. Now, one final thing we're going to do here on this button is we're going to remove the security, the operator authorization. So we go to properties and under security, we remove the authorization right here. So now we don't need to have any clearance level to operate this button. Any user operating the HMI device in runtime can toggle the language. Now that our button is configured, let's have a look at the text underneath. This text is still saying log off. So we change this to language. And there we go. This step is finished. We have created a language button for our HMI application. Now we have one final step left in this process and that is running a simulation of the HMI application and verifying that our changes are working in runtime. Before we start the simulation, we first need to select which languages we would like to use in our runtime application. To do this, we go to the HMI refile application and we press on runtime settings. Here we go to language and font, and you can see at the moment only the English language is enabled as a runtime language. So we select the German language as well. And that's that. Now both of these languages will be used in runtime. Now we're ready for our simulation. So we select our HMI device and we press on the start simulation button right here. So let's go to our setting screen and let's toggle our language right here. You can see that the language, the texts on the screen switch between English and German. Let's have, for example, a look at the overview screen. Right now, the text is in English. And if we change the text to German, the language to German, and we go back, we can see that now all our texts on the screen are in the German language. So before we end this lecture, I would quickly like to show you how your selection of different languages can affect your PLC application. So we go to our PLC application here and let's select, for example, our function block FB equipment modules. There we go. Here you can see that in network one, we have a network title, module supply. And beneath that, we have a comment section where it says at the moment, call of the supply module. Now these network titles and comment sections are language specific. The texts that are displayed here are dependent on which editing language you have selected. At the moment, our editing language is English. Now let's go and translate these texts and see what happens when we change the editing language. So we select the device, 
refill HMI, that's our project. We go to Tools and we select Project Text. Now under the Device Filter, we are going to filter on the PLC refill application, so we will only get the text from our PLC application. Now let's look for our Model Supply Text. So here is our model supply text and now we're going to quickly translate this to German and afterwards we're going to see what happens. There we go. Next step, we're going to change our editing language from English to German. So we do that here under our project languages. Editing language German. OK, it's going to reopen our editors because we changed the language. That's fine. And now we go back to our FB Equipment Modules and we can see here in Network 1 the network title has changed to the German language, to the German text that we've just added. This is something to keep in mind when you're working on a PLC application with more than one person. If one person, for example, is making changes to comments or network titles in English and the other person is making those changes in German, then the changes that you make in one language will not be transferred to the other language. So they will just be empty there. It's just something to keep in mind. So my tip here is to develop your application in the same editing language throughout the whole development. So that's it for this video on using different languages in your TIA portal applications. If you've enjoyed the way I teach and you would like to check out the full PLC or HMI course, then check out the description below the video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Oh,